Hello, my dear friends of electronics. My name is Lauren Völker, and I did invite my colleague Timo. Hello, hey, Timo. Lauren. Timo, I have a small problem because uh, I have here a solution for higher current on the PCB, and I'm using right now a true hole technology with two pieces connector. The problem is that I want to go in automatization because now we have a bigger demand and this is hand uh, placed. I need yeah. a pick and place solution with the okay. ultimate. Do you have uh, any solution for me? Well, typically to connect a power supply with a PCB delivered on a reel for the tape and reel for the pick and place process. We have also terminal blocks. When you see the pins, it's an SMD pin, so we place it on top of the PCB yeah. in an automatic yeah. Uh, in an automatical assembly process. Okay, it looks nice, but SMD is also nice, but I need a little bit more high reliability, more... I want to keep the true hole. Okay, um, regarding the mechanical stability of the solder joint? Correct, much, ah, more, okay. stable, much more stable. Well, in, in that case, with a fully automatical assembling process in our mind and a THT connection, we can take a THR connector. THR, so the meaning is through hole reflow. All right. So it means we have a THT connection, but it will be assembled in a fully automatic pick and place process. Mm -hmm. so that's the reason why we have the cap. And of course, we solder that in the SMD oven. Mm -hmm. So I can pick and place, yes, this is not a problem. All right, and do that fit to this? Of course, it's the same mating part. Wow. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I see this is shorter pins, why? Well, when this gets assembled, we have still this THT connection, but the process is different yeah. from THT to SMD. So when we assemble that in the fully automatic process, we place it in the PCB and there's already the solder paste on the PCB. So that means we have a hole and in the hole we put the pin and when the pin is too long, what happens with the solder paste? It will be like a bubble at the end of the pin. And then in the oven it starts to melt and then we have to use the capillarity effect so that it gets mm -hmm. sucked into the hole. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in case that the pin is too long, it might be that it melts, but it will not be sucked in into the hole. That's the reason why the length here is different. Okay. And like you can see also, the green one compared to the black it's one. More shiny. Well, Right, this is more bright, this is a bright tin mm -hmm. plating, and this is a matte tin. Matte tin, we have a rough structure of the tin, okay. so that supports that capillarity effect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like you can see here also, we have these little noses, we yeah. call that standoff. Mm -hmm. So What for? They are supporting also the same process, because when we assemble that on the PCB, we have a small air gap between the housing and um, the PCB itself. And we are using that slot for the airflow, so that mm -hmm. the airflow can heat up and can support that uh, capillarity effect also. Makes sense. And um, do you see, can you analyze the next difference between these two connectors? Well, I can see they are different color. Well, that's green, that's black, that's right. That's right. Um, and the color is not important, but important is here we are using a different plastic. A plastic wood is able to handle such kind of high temperatures in the SMD process. For the high so temperature reflow peak, yeah, okay. Exactly, That's so we have to handle that, that peak so that it doesn't melt. That's cool. So that means the same mechanical stability mm -hmm. like a THD, but you can assemble that in the fully automatic process and solder it in the reflow. And I can save the soldering process for, for the wave. wave. Yeah. Of course. Great, so I'm happy with this. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank you for your welcome. time. Thank you for your time and hope you enjoy it and you will have some new ideas with this. Please watch my next videos. Bye-bye.